Hey everybody, it's John, aka Smelly Telly, coming to you from the video room here in More Music in beautiful Evansville, Indiana. And today we're going to talk about the Earthquaker plumes. So, what is it? Let's start with what it is. So, it's Earthquaker Devices plumes, it's an overdrive pedal. And you could, yeah, say that it is part of the Tube Screamer family, but I felt like it really is kind of its own thing. It's not a direct clone. And I, after I did some research about it, it was pretty apparent that that is not what they were going. They did not want it to be a clone, um, but it did start off kind of based off of uh, the guy at Earthquake Devices off of his old TS-808. So let's talk about a couple of the big features first. It is just a you know, small sized overdrive stomp box and you can see we've got three knobs. You've got your level, which is your volume. You've got your tone, which is your tone. And then you've got your gain, which is how gritty you want it to sound. Uh, you also notice that there's a toggle switch here in the middle and there are three modes. And we'll talk about three modes as we kind of do some playing examples with them. And all three of them sound fairly different. The second mode, the one in the middle is the one that sounds the most different. Uh, one and three are the gainier ones, and we'll kind of compare those. The jacks are on top, which is, in my opinion, where all the jacks should be. And, of course, you have your stomp switch here and a very, very bright LED. What we're going to do is we're going to plug it into this Fender Princeton Reverb. I believe they call us the 68 Custom Princeton Reverb. But we're going to start all the way on the left and this is the LED style clipping and we'll go through a couple of different uh, we'll twiddle the nibbles and see what happens so I'll just start with uh, the tone control set up to noon and I'm going to start with the gain fairly low the sound without the pedal is kicking on you can hear what I was saying it adds a brightness to the neck. That's pretty nice. Actually, I like the lower gain settings probably more than anything. So now, let's crank it up. Let's go up to 50%. Now, look at where I have the level. Again, let me demonstrate the volume. So this is a very loud overdrive pedal. So we'll compensate. By the way, this guitar is pretty awesome. We'll go even further. Let's bring back the level again so that Larry doesn't have a heart attack while I, when I hit this. Plenty of gain. So there are the Tube Screamer people that are like, there's not enough gain. Let's bring it back a little bit and let's demonstrate the uh, EQ sweep. So all the way down, this is a typical guitar player, let's go extremes. You can see with it all the way down, it's not unusable. So it's very different than most tone controls I've played with. So let's go the other extreme, and I'm just going to warn you all now, this is going to be pretty bright. And oh, there it is. There's a, there's got to be some, right? Woo, okay, let's pull it back down a little bit. <laughs> so it's very, very bright. And of course, it's with the telly too, right? So it's going to be very bright. It's not so bad though with the next pickup, right? And let's, we're gonna skip mode two because it's the most different out of the three. We're gonna go over to mode three. This is uh, a silicon style clipping. Now, one thing, I know I'll, don't, I'll demonstrate this. There's a pretty big volume drop between the two different, between the LED setting and the uh, silicon setting. 
volume-wise. This setting is more closely related to a uh, more traditional Tube Screamer. Again, I kind of see where they're coming from, but I do think it's different enough. It's got its own thing. So let's compensate the volume by bringing up the level a little bit. I love tellies. Awesome. Let's bring the gain up a little bit. We'll back off on the level. Let's get bump up the gain a little more. And you can hear that's already more than you're going to get out of a vintage 808. Again, this is this is the amp. One thing I will say that I notice is it just like a tube screamer, it has a character. It's not like you're kicking this on and it still sounds like the amp only louder and a little bit more gain. It definitely has character to it, which is, again, if you love Tube Screamers, that's one of the things you love about it. Sounds cool. All right, you, you can tell too, I'm a bridge guy. Let's, we'll go all the way. We're going all in with the gain. So this is the silicon style clipping with the gain all the way up. Sounds pretty good. I have to say, with this guitar and this amp, this pedal really does seem to be a pretty good match. Okay. Let's go to the middle setting. The middle setting is probably my favorite, and I don't know if that'll come across in the video or not. Uh, it's more of a clean boost. Now, there is, you can get gain out of it if you crank the gain, but... sound like if we do bring the level down and crank the gain on it there's a little bit of gain probably how you would use this if you were looking for something not clean you would probably use this mode to boost into an amp that's already barking pretty good I'm not going to do that because again we don't want people to rush to the door and start throwing things at me. Me, I like the gain lower on this and the volume up or the level up. Give it some more reverb. We'll get crazy with it. pretty with an overdrive. Can you believe it? It is. It's it's a fantastic sound. For me, that's the selling point. Like the overdrives, the gainy sound sound good in it, but I just absolutely love that clean boost. So that's pretty much what it's going to sound like with some single coils. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to turn the amp out, off and we are going to try this with some humbuckers and see how it responds. All right, we grabbed a humbucker. So this is another one. Um, they're kind of blowing this one out. I don't know what the price is, but if you're interested, give them a call down here. It's very green. You'll notice the amp is green and the box is green and the 
uh, the guitar screens, very St. Patrick. So let's run through some of these modes with the humbuckers. Uh, again, we're gonna start with the kind of drive kind of low on the uh, LED side. Let's bring the gain up. Push the gain a little more. Pretty good. I think with humbuckers, I actually prefer the gain higher, and with single coils, I like it a little bit lower. Uh, let's go then to the silicon side, so mode three. Let's bring it up about halfway. back off the gain and the volume so we don't pee ourselves when we put it in the middle mode, the clean boost mode. And you can hear it's pushing the front end, which I think is a glorious sound. That's pretty awesome. So let's bring the volume down and push the a little bit. Yep, I like the middle setting the best. That's just my preference. It's a fantastic sounding pedal, a hundred bucks for an overdrive pedal that has, you know, this much versatility to it is almost a no brainer. Uh, uh, if you're interested in the plumes or any of the guitars you've seen or the amp, or you want to buy the amp for me, just get a hold of the guys at More Music in Evansville or go on to moreguitars.com, uh, their website. Again, this is John, it's AKA Smelly Telly, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.